Hi, this is Cheryl back with you from Farmhouse Frugally with some ideas on how to make some ornaments for Christmas pretty much free. This first one, I lost the footage at the beginning, but this is just a piece of spindle that I had left over from something, and I simply glued a bead on the top of this and painted it in linen white chalked paint and then ended up giving that two coats and then once that was completely dry i got out some wallpaper that i had left over from another project but you could use cardstock cardboard anything that you have tin um, to make some wings i am going to make an angel i made some snowmen out of spindles in my last video and i wanted to do something different for this one. I know a lot of people were asking for ornaments. So I just cut out what I thought would be the nice shape of wings and then folded it and caught the other side in order for these two sides to match. And then this was a little bit flimsy and I didn't think it would be sturdy enough. So I took a piece of cardboard, traced it and cut out the cardboard so that I would be able to glue these uh, wallpaper wings and um, right onto the cardboard and keep this as a more long-term Christmas ornament. And I just hot glued the body onto the wings, but actually end up removing it and putting it on again later after I get the rest of the angel complete. So if you wanna do this, I recommend you put the wings on last. Um, I did tie some um, jute twine Actually, before I did that, I just took some antiquing wax and clear wax that I already had mixed up from my last project. I just went over the base of this angel, the body, and uh, wipe off the excess with a rag. And I do that a couple times until I get that antique look that I am going for. I could have highlighted the wings as well uh, with this, but I didn't. This wallpaper has an embossed feel to it. So I didn't want too much of that to stand out, but it could be kind of interesting. So I just tied uh, two knots and glued them on the back of the wings to hang this. And then just took out a Sharpie, tried to look at a picture because I am definitely no artist. Um, not in love with the way my face came out. So you could definitely <laughs> do a better job here freehanding that, no doubt. So then I found just a piece of wired... I think this came from Pip Berries um, in my stash. And um, you could use a couple of twister ties. You could use a piece of um, floral, something that you have left over, some wire, whatever you have. This um, worked well as um, a little halo. So I just twisted and twisted that around until I got the uh, shape and size that I'm looking for and honestly I think no, maybe would have looked again. good right there I probably should have stopped but I decided she needed some hair so I went into my stash of wool and I got out some um, <laughs> roving that I had and glued on some hair for this angel and then took my scissors and trimmed it a bit and tried to make her look a little more like an angel and less like a hippie but <laughs> you'll have to let me know what you think I think she has she's a cross between an old lady angel and a hippie angel I don't know so she's probably not the most beautiful angel you've ever seen I glued the uh, halo on top of that and put the wings back on and that is all I did with this spindle. So that is number one. And I promised you number two and three are better. <laughs> so please don't stop watching. <laughs> now, um, my girlfriend had just given me that beautiful hook. I love it. And so there we are, Angel. And I don't have my Christmas tree up. I don't know anybody who does. But uh, so I just am displaying these on other items. On to number two. Now, I have seen a lot of people do scrap wood ornaments, and I have this piece of beadboard hanging around in my barn, had to scrub it good. 
I had my husband cut it into different size pieces, took my sander to it and sanded it good. And then once I had the pieces, I ended up with six pieces from that. I have this beautiful decoupage rice paper that I got on Etsy. Unfortunately, I could not find the exact one. They seem to be out uh, for you. Um, it's called LTD Creations or LTD something um is is the name of it but i'll um i'll try to link it but what i did was i did find you two on etsy um they're about three bucks a sheet but you get six or eight pictures for each one so it's certainly worth it but in order to make it free just go out to um graphicsfairy.com and just print any of the free graphics that way um you won't have to spend any money at all and then once I got the pieces um, cut out of the rice paper, just wet that and rip it so it has a nice natural edge, I just took my Mod Podge and I just went ahead and decoupaged the tissue right on and then put a layer on top. This will protect it um, and that way it will not fray. It'll, it'll be good for years to come. It works as a really nice finish. And once I got all of them complete, then I wanted to figure out a way to hang these and I decided to do the same thing I had done with the angel um, but in order for them to hang properly on my Christmas tree or wherever I decide to hang them I took my twine and I tied a knot on either side and then I hot glued them to the side of to both sides so that they would hang and I made sure that I put them exactly where that little um, divot I guess is on the board so that it would be um, in the same place on all of them. Now I wanted to add some antiquing wax to mine. You don't have to. You could actually add some some red paint, some green paint on the edges. You can do it any way that you like it for the look that you have going on your Christmas tree. But as you know, my house is a little bit more uh, on the antique -y look. So I just took this watered down uh, antiquing wax and I ended up giving it two um, coats. I took a paper towel and just went around and wiped it off so that the edges would be nice and stained looking. But then I ended up, and, uh, ended up adding just a little bit more so that it could look just a little more antique -y. You could actually go over the whole thing, um, but I wanted the picture, um, the decoupage picture, to really stand out here. You can add ribbon to the side of this. You could add berries. You could add greenery. You could do all kinds of things. But I opted to keep these plain for this video. Um, and I may add some things later on to them. But here's a couple different ways that I displayed them for you to see. And I absolutely love the way that these came out. I am really glad that I was able to put these together out of scrap items and things I had hanging around the house, except for the decoupage. These things are pretty much free. And as I said, go ahead out to Graphics Fairy and get that, uh, any graphic you like from them, um, absolutely free. Just print it, decoupage it on, and you are good to go. You don't have to spend any money if you've got some scrap wood hanging around. And I decided to put all six of these together on this little card holder I had in my foyer and I love, love, love the way that these came out. So let me know what you think of these and if you want to make something like these. And then that takes me on to number three. Now these are literally toilet paper rolls. I had seen Lisa from our shabby cottage i believe make something like this and hers are much more elaborate uh, so check that out she's definitely more shabby chic she's got a lot of lace on hers and a lot of different things here but i wanted to keep these real simple and what i wanted to do was to make these as ornaments but also as gift card and or money candy whatever holders to hang on the christmas tree uh, to give to my kids. So I just cut out a little scoop in the front, hot glue the bottom of that and squish it so that it will hold the gift card. Took my little hole punch and punched a hole on either side. And I happen to have four uh, paper towel rolls, so I, um, toilet paper rolls, so I made four. Now you could use a paper towel roll um, if you have it. 
Um, you could even make them out of cardstock if you wanted to glue all four sides. And then I took out the linen white, or actually this is Annie Sloan's, uh, I think it might be pure white uh, chalk paint. Now, tip. If you have latex paint in the color that you want, I highly recommend that you paint these in latex paint because um, you don't have to seal a latex paint. Since I'm using a chalked paint, I did have to spray them with a clear matte, um, what do you call that, polyurethane, no finish, some kind of a uh, matte finish spray so that I would be able to decoupage on the chalked paint without having it reactivate the paint. So I did give these two coats and um, this here, putting your hand inside of it was definitely the best way to paint this. Once they were fully dry, these are the two um, decoupage things that I found online that I thought were absolutely adorable that would be so cute. $2.95 uh, for this rice paper decoupage. And this one is adorable on Etsy. If you just search decoupage uh, paper on Etsy for about three bucks, you get really cute options. So once these are fully dry, because of course they are paper, I decoupaged the little pieces that I had left and I had this these two little pieces of rice paper went a long way I've already made at least six different crafts and I still have several more so well worth a couple of bucks for me and again free on graphics fairy for a very similar looking um, graphics so I just decoupaged these uh, pieces onto this trimming what needed to be trimmed and let that dry I did not add antiquing wax on these because I had chosen the pure white paint I opted to keep and the and the rice paper is white I opted to keep these white without any antiquing wax um, but you could certainly add paint you could trim these in lace I took four different hangers different ribbons and lace and things I had around the house to match the graphics and then I took four different colored tissue paper and I folded one into just a square little packet to fit the gift card directly into and add a little color since I had that same color on my ribbon and it matched the little bird so I thought that was cute and then on this one, I decided to do that just a little more Christmassy with some red. And I just uh, cut the top to look a little bit more rounded. And then on this one, I took a white tissue paper and made that look more like a um, handkerchief. And then I had some of that stiffer white paper that comes sometimes when you go to the store and, and you buy something glass and they wrap it in this stiffer paper uh, had a little bit more of a creamy color to it and then I just folded it like you would a dinner napkin and then just trimmed it and then stuck the um the v in the front so that the I decided to put some cash you know just to hang it on here and see so I thought candy would be a cute idea you could certainly put cash in this you could put a gift card in this uh, anything that you'd like or you could just leave them as Christmas ornaments but I thought they were very sweet don't forget to check out Lisa our shabby cottage she's got some amazing stuff if you're not following her I love her channel it's one of my favorites I never miss it and that is that. So I hope that you will like and share and please subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for stopping by. Take care.